Hey you guys, welcome, welcome. Let me show you how I make this hippo hygiene activity page. I start with an eight inch by eight inch sheet of felt and another sheet of felt with some fabric wrapped around it. That's gonna be used for the back side of my activity page. I cut out this top head piece here and I'm going to put this black oval piece directly over top of it and I'm just gonna sew those down onto the page directly. Next, I'm going to take my black piece and pink piece and I'm going to sew those together. Next, I'm going to take a bunch of the white pieces through the same white circles that I used for the eyes and I'm going to glue those down in place. And you'll see on the top there, I'm just kind of gluing them half on because I want them to overhang um, at the bottom of the mouth. And then I hot glue on just the top part of a tongue that I cut out by freehand. Um, and I don't glue the whole tongue on because I want it to be able to move. And then I'm going to use hot glue to just glue on the top part of the mouth. You can sew this part as well, but the felt gets, there's so many thick layers of felt at this point that it's really hard um, on my sewing machine and my needle. So I just use hot glue. It's really sturdy and really strong. And then I'm going to hot glue on the white and black eyes and use my Sharpie to draw on some nostrils. And that's it. That's really the main part of this page. And then I, I use white suede cord. You can use any type of string. And I'm just going to hot glue that in between two copies of the toothbrush. And I'm applying the hot glue pretty carefully because you want to add enough, but not too much that it's spilling over everywhere. Sometimes I use my scissors to trim off any hardened hot glue. And then I'm going to just hot glue the back of that string in place. Unfortunately, just sewing it around the border is not going to be enough to really keep it there. And so I want to make sure that even if a child gives it a really good pull, it's not going to go anywhere. So I use hot glue, a bunch of it to glue it down. I trim off the excess of the string that I don't need. And then I'm actually going to just use that hot glue to help me keep that in place. I'm going to clip that together. And I like to make and sell my pages this way, only single sided. Some people will, instead of adding that back piece on, they'll add a whole other page on the back. So you can totally do that if you want to. And then I just freehand cut out my binding piece using really thick three millimeter felt. Um, and I'm going to put that in between the two pages and sew around the whole border. Now this is how I make these activity pages, but at the time of filming this video, I wanted to kind of experiment by adding some little germs to the teeth for kids to kind of scrub off. So I was just kind of playing around. I don't end up selling them this way, but I'm going to show you what I did anyways because it is fun. I cut out just by freehand these germs and then same thing with the toothbrush where I'm going to hot glue some pieces of brown suede cord in between them because I want them to stay attached to the page because I'm always worried about kids losing pieces. So I hot glue them to the back of the page, the other end of the suede cords. And then I just use some tiny Velcro self-adhesive dots and I'm going to hot glue those to the germs and to the teeth so that the little germs with Velcro can attach to the teeth and then um, little kids can scrub the germs off. And it's really important that when you're using Velcro, if you're hot gluing, you're using the self-adhesive ones because uh, they have a special sticky backing on them that really adheres well to the hot glue. So now I go ahead and sew around the border, making sure that all the pieces are out of the way. And then I use my really heavy duty hole punch. I always do this. I hole punch in the side and then that way I can connect different pages using binder rings so my customers can kind of build their own little book. And then for fun, I drew different little um, faces on the germs and that's what it ends up looking like. So when children open the mouth they see these little germs and they can use the toothbrush to kind of scrub them away like i said i actually don't make this page like this at craft shows now um, i just do it without the germs just because it's a bit quicker and i'm able to charge less because it takes me less time to make but i think either one is really cute and people like them both ways and once again quickly if you wanted this template it is available on my patreon diy busy books okay i will see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed this make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you later